the third part of a Pinus Sylvester's story telling us the story of Wildmane. Iwona Krukowska, the Wildmane Knight. A brash, tough and confident infected knight. The story start with Flame Tail and Ashlock in a pub watching a news. Wildmane had been accused of an improper altercation, and may face suspension. Flame Tail interested in her skills, and said they should try to recruit her. But Ashlock remind her that she's not the best bet to be recruited as a knight. Let alone help the knight club with their secret agenda. But Flame Tail insisted they should try and recruit Wildmane. Some days later, outside of the police station. Iwona just got out from the investigation. But she must pay a huge sum of fine. She immediately surrounded by reporter, but managed to slip away. After some time, Ashlock and Flametail met with Wildmane. They introduced themselves, and asked Wildmane to join them. Wildmane was skeptical of course, with all of the infected nightclub thing. But at the end she agrees to join. As long as there's someone who can help fix her weapon. And of course a normal salary. And without a second thought, Flametail gave her an advance. And Wildmane then parted way. Ashlock wondered why would she do that. But Flametail said it's better to convince her first, and settle things tomorrow. The next day, Wildmane is in the Pinus Sylvestris nightclub. She asked one of the members about Flametail whereabouts. But since Wildmane hasn't officially joined them, he's hesitant. But after some thought, he tells her about Flametail and Ashlock who's currently helping the infected. Later on, the scene shift to Flametail hiding with an infected kid from a hunter. Wildmane managed to find them, and now knows what Pinus Sylvester's secret agenda is. Flametail said helping the illegal infected is a risky business. So she can quit if she wants. But Wildmane thinks it's cool, and asks Flametail to officially invite her to the nightclub. And after a bit ceremonial thingy. Wildmane said Flametail should get the kid to the safe place and go. If someone sees the leader of the nightclub doing this, things will get difficult, while she will take care of the hunters alone. And after they managed to save those infected, Wildmane met with Ashlock and Flametail. She agrees to join, and help Pinus Sylvestris with their cause. She thinks that what the nightclub do is mighty. And she herself always wanted to do things for the infected just like the Blood Knight, who reformed the major regulation to make the infected entering the major much easier. And she also asks if the nightclub can do her a favor. It's nothing serious, she just want them to find an engineer to fix her, pet. Which is a robot. Later on, she met the engineer who also examined her lens. Wildmane covered her lens with the protective cover. Because she doesn't want to kill her opponents. And after that, the engineer examined the robot. It's manufactured by Raytheon Industry, its main function is for a cover fire. But pretty much no other useful ability. So Wildmane said they should look for any module to upgrade the robot. But now she will call the robot Justice Knight, as the new member of Pinus Sylvestris. A brash and tough knight on the outside, but chivalrous at heart. That's Wildmane Knight for you. That should be all. Adios.